What is going on guys? Noah Brewer here back again with another video and today I'm going to be exposing the profits, net profits of a multi six figure store and these are the exact numbers that we are doing and I'm basically basing it off of the ad account. So as you can see we had 109,000 spent and 307,000 back. So that means it was essentially like a 3 ROAS or a 2.8 or whatever. Now I'm going to be real and I'm going to just say this up front. This is not all the sales that were on the store, okay? So the actual sales on the store was about 60,000 more, but the store was shut down a long time ago, and this is a store that I built. It was actually the second six-figure store that I built about actually over a year ago now, um, but I'm going to be breaking down these numbers and kind of show you guys what goes into calculating your profits, and also maybe it would be cool for you to see like what kind of profit numbers would you be seeing if you, had, if you were managing an ad account like this. So let's go right into it. So basically there's multiple expenses on here. I just wanted to write down the product price and what it was costing us. And then you have transaction fees, of course, and then obviously refunds and chargebacks. And then you have your Shopify fee, which um, we were we were on the second tier package. So and, and the main reason for that was just to get the lower transaction fee. So all this is accounted for. And then, you know, obviously we had this for four months around that that was like how long the store was open for after that it kind of died out so the total number of orders was 5500 like i said it was more than this but we're just basing this off of the ad account numbers um and the total revenue was 307,000. total ad spend was 109,000. so there's a couple numbers here that i'm going to calculate with you guys and show you how it's done so basically there's two fees when it comes to transaction fees you have a percentage and then there's a per sale number now if you hop up here into Shopify's pricing plan, you can actually figure out what plan are you on and what is your pricing. So like I said, we're on the $79 a month package. So as you can see uh, with online credit card rates, it's 2.6% and then 30 cents. Okay. So, and then if you're on the $30 a month package, you're going to be looking at 2.9% plus 30 cents. So it's literally just 0.3% that you're saving when you're paying an extra $50 a month. But for us, that extra 0.3% was worth a lot more than $50. So we just did it just to save on a little bit of money. It just made more sense. So let's calculate this right here. We have 30 cents per sale. And then so what I'm going to do is take the total number of orders and we're going to multiply it by 30 cents, which I'm actually going to write. So we'll take the total amount of orders and multiply it by 30 cents. And this will be the transaction fee number for the per transaction and then we're going to go ahead and take the percentage so we're going to do this by doing another sum function and multiplication function multiply that by 2.6 percent and we're going to be left off with we're going to be left off with twenty eight hundred dollars for transaction fees and sixteen hundred dollars for um, the other transaction fees so you got to account for both of these because as you can see um, when you're doing these kinds of numbers it's a bit of a difference like if you're not doing as big of a numbers like you don't really have to worry about it because even if you have 100 sales, that's only what, like $30? Not really that big of a deal. But we are going to take into consideration here. And then refunds and chargebacks, this is the amount, this is the exact amount that came straight off the store, which I'm not going to show you guys that because I don't want you to see what the store was. But And then, of course, we have the Shopify fee, which is basically 79 times 4, and that's 316. So here we have all of our numbers written down. So let's figure out what our total product cost was. So this is simple to do as well. We're going to do a sum function again, and we're going to take the product cost here, multiply it by the total amount of orders, and we're going to get 109,000, which if you, if, if you don't know, this is kind of, it's not a coincidence, I promise. But basically, or, or it is a coincidence, I promise. We got 109,000 in product cost and then 109,000 in total ad spend which is, is, is kind of like our margin was $40, okay? So if you think about it, our cost per purchase was 20. So it, we were essentially doubling money. So everything that we were, every dollar that we were putting in, we were getting back in net profit. So let's calculate this right now. So basically, let's calculate the first number, which is going to be um, the total revenue. And we're going to subtract, of course, the ad spend. We'll call this revenue minus ad spend. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is take, so we're gonna take minus product cost and do a sum function again. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna subtract our total amount of product cost. So we'll do minus. Okay, so we're left with 87,000 and we'll subtract 
transaction fees. So we're doing this minus this plus this. So it's going to use PEMDAS and calculate that. So we're left with 86,756. And then all we have to do is subtract the Shopify fee, which is 316. All right, so we're looking at a net profit of $86,479. So let's look at uh, actual profit. So this is what I like to call like, you know, after after the bad stuff, the things that nobody nobody likes talking about. And I will go into this right now. So we'll do another sum feature. So we'll do sum and then we'll tap our net and we'll subtract the refunds and chargebacks. And this is the stuff that people don't tell you guys. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible here. So our actual profit from spending, you know, one hundred and nine thousand eight hundred seventy one in sales. I mean, from spending that in ad spend was $85,174. So this is kind of how I break down the actual profit numbers. In some stores, you know, depending on how big or small they are, I'll do a kind of estimation number like this, or I'll do like a real number where you actually go through your bake statement and write everything down into a Google sheet like this, like every little expense. You just copy and paste straight out of your bank statement. And that's how you figure out like the exact number to the penny because there might be some product, you know, extra product costs or whatever that you might have missed. There might have been like a couple extra dollars for shipping, different things that you wouldn't think of when you first try to calculate profits. But you have to think of them when you're when you're pushing bigger numbers, because even in the smallest change, you know, it, it makes a big difference when you're pushing a lot of volume. And there's a lot of people talking about, you know, 50%, 60% margins at the end of the day. Are they really calculating all these things and, and taking everything into consideration? Are they really looking through their bank statements? Because honestly, in my, like in my hundred percent honest experience, like the average percentage that your net profit or your actual profit should be is around 20 to 30%. And if you have anything more than that, then you're a God. Um, and, and I'm not saying that like to, to say that it's like in, impossible to do, I'm saying that it's not like the real, like, like me personally, I've grown over, over 20 stores to six figures now. Like I kind of know what I'm looking at with this type of, with this type of thing. Like I know that my strategy works. I know that what I'm doing with ad is making a lot of money, but 20 to 30% margins at the end of the day, you know, 30% being on like a really good store and 20% being on a good store. And then anything below 20 is still livable guys. Like it's not horrible. You're doing online sales, right? Like if you, if you see a million dollars in sales, don't be surprised when the profit is only 250,000 at the end of the day, because that's kind of the reality of Shopify. Like that's kind of like, there's a lot of expenses that come with this. And you know, this is not even considering that you're just drop shipping from your home. So you, you know, you have to keep up with your computer. Maybe you bought a desk, a chair, like those little things that you might not con take into consideration um, or thinking about like, you know, real companies, they have like office space and, you know, all these different expenses that are not even calculated into this simply because we're working from home. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just kind of wanted to show a breakdown of like all the different expenses and how I kind of break down the profits for all the stores that I manage. This just being kind of like a, a random example, just like a random pick out of all the stores that I've grown. Um, this is the one that I had the most data available for me right now. And I may, I think I made pretty good sense of this. Like if you, if you have any questions, just feel free to leave comments below because I know that this is kind of like a gray area for most people. They don't really know, you know, some people might not even know where to see how many chargebacks they have. So it, you know, no question is stupid. We're all here to learn and I'm here to teach. So drop your comments down below. If you want more content like this, leave a subscribe. And of course, leave a like if you like this video, but this is Noah Brewer and I'm out. Peace.